This session will show you how to create a paginated report from a Power BI report and sort out the formatting so that you can extract it into Excel. So I have a simple Power BI report here with a date and a start time and an end time. Um, start time obviously has got the date in it and the time, end time has just got the end in it. I've um, created within Power BI a paginated report based on this, this particular um, data. Which interestingly, and I've called new report, <laughs> not so great on imagination this morning. So it basically is the uh, Power BI report as a paginated report. But when I export it, because what I want to do is set up a subscription, so this is exported. When I export it as an Excel report, and it then appears into my downloads file here, you can see that when I open it, which it will open, what happens is it's exported the dates okay, it's exported date and time okay, but it's actually exported the time with these hashtags. Um, so there's an issue with the formatting and it doesn't matter about the, the space, you have to change the formatting in paginated reports. So how do we do this? We go into File, and what we can do is we can click Edit in Report Builder. Then what this will do is open up Power BI Report Builder. You need to have, um, I would suggest that you have a copy of Power BI Report Builder downloaded. But once you've opened up Power BI Report Builder, and in the interest of time, here's one I have earlier. So this is my report, paginate new report. And when I press run, you'll see that it looks like this. And again, it looks straightforward and you think you can export it and you can export it as Excel, but believe me, it will still give you the same issues. So what you need to do is you need to go into this. So this is your field. If you click on this field, and write and once you've highlighted the actual field by double clicking then what you can do is you can actually um, correct press this this FX button which takes you into the expression so all this is showing us is that this is the field time dot value end which is is what it's being called and we can write this so what this does, let me just get rid of that exclamation mark, it's basically, it's formatting, it's wrapping this field with a format, the same as we do in DAX, format this field as HHMM, and I think the TT stands for text, but I'm not entirely sure. And then you'll see that this will change to an expression, and you press OK, and then when you run it, it won't look any different here, but you can see it looks slightly different. But when you then export this as Excel, which it will export as Excel, and you can have it, we'll just pop it here, save and um, yes. And then when we come to open our new report in Excel, let's close the old one because otherwise it won't like it. And here's our report. So to reiterate, what you need to do, there we go. It's in, it's our report is in there and it's in text so it gets rid of the, the hashtags. So what we can do then is basically we can format our end time so that it will come out as um, time and not hashtags. And you can do the same with a start time. So here's one I prepared earlier. new reports fixed and on here I've changed the start time the end time I've applied some conditional formatting um, to the fill color and the font color and then when we press run you can see that the paginated reports it's, it's a little better you can it's formatted there's some end text when we export it so we can export it into Excel it will export into Excel um, and if we call it new report fixed, then we'll open it. We then go back into design 
and we can publish it to the service. Once we've published it to the service, you'll see we've got new report fixed here. We can open it. It's all perfectly uh, formatted, how we want it formatted. We can share a link to people. We can subscribe to the reports that it's um, updated. And then when we come to actually um, export it and download it, you'll see that new report fixed here is actually all in um, all is time um, and it can be set up to be exactly how you want it with those hashtags. So here, this is what the end result will be like once you share it or subscribe to it as an Excel report. Okay then, thank you, bye.